Maryland's Senate delegation is pushing for the federal government to cover the cost of rebuilding the Key Bridge. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Morgan has details as the senators ask the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee for support. Senators Van Hollen and Cardin argued in favor of the federal government picking up the tab for replacing the Key Bridge. Estimates say it could cost $1.7 billion and take more than four years to complete. But make no mistake about it. There is a serious impact until that bridge is replaced, and it's going to take a couple years. We recognize that, but we need to act quickly. It's already agreed the federal government will cover 90 percent of the costs, which is the general rule for disasters on major interstates. What's in question is 10 percent of the total cost, which is typically the state's responsibility. Senator Shelley Capito from West Virginia questioned why the state wouldn't use toll revenue from the bridge to pay back its share. Why is it wrong to assume, if you're the American taxpayer, that since you have a dedicated source of revenue there, that over time you would not be asked to pay the 10 percent uh, cost share that Maryland would have to bear? Yeah. Just, uh, I so think make the a, argument there. Sure. No, I think there's some other factors here. One is we are losing revenue now, mm -hmm. right, and we'll continue right. to lose that revenue through the, through the next four and a half years. Senator Ben Cardin pushed back against questions of Maryland's ability to cover its share of the cost, asking Shaylin Bott from the Federal Highway Administration about the scope and scale of the Key Bridge collapse. So yes, it, is the, uh, it will be the largest maritime claim, and so uh, from a precedent standpoint, it, it is unprecedented. So I, I just hope that puts somewhat to rest the difference between this a tragedy and emergency relief funding versus a lot of the others that have been that are nowhere in this category whatsoever. The state is also expecting higher maintenance costs on the new bridge. Ultimately, Maryland wants this assurance from the government, so there's no question about financing when going through the rebuilding process. In Baltimore, Jeff Morgan, WMAR 2 News.